So Movie Labs is a specification created by the, the studios, and it's really about securing the 4K Ultra HD content or setting the, the requirements for adequate security and quality of 4K Ultra HD content. And it's really focused as well on the early release window box office uh, premium uh, aspect of, of movies. The main reason for the specification is indeed that 4K Ultra HD content is valuable uh, and the security requirements have certainly been put there to protect against piracy. Um, however, uh, piracy has evolved. If we, if we look at what piracy used to be, it was about stealing content. However, the pirates of today both realize that stealing content is one part of it, but they're actually able to compete on the uh, service delivery aspect as well, very effectively. And uh, as such, the Movie Lab's requirements are very focused on, first of all, setting the uh, making sure that that content, 4K Ultra HD, valuable content in the early release window, uh, cannot be pirated easily. That's the one part. But the second part of it is also recognizing that it will be pirated and making sure that businesses or operators uh, have a whole infrastructure across the whole distribution chain to be able to uh, respond to piracy. So protect against it at the highest level and on the other hand uh, have a full infrastructure in place to, to respond and uh, react to piracy and revoke devices uh, and close it down. So we recognize that to get the, the Ultra HD content, the, the, the operator, we need to support operators to secure that content at the highest level across the distribution chain. And that means uh, this, this goes far beyond uh, just watermarking, which is one subset of the three pillars of the Movie Lab's security specification. So for operators, getting 4K premium content is just the start. To be successful, they have to maximize the, the use of that 4K content and the infrastructure in which they've invested um, and to be able to extend their existing business models uh, to maximize the revenue that, that's relevant in the business ecosystem in which they operate. So that includes uh, broadcast networks, over-the-top services, the home network, uh, and the fact that users, you know, consumers today have a home with uh, where everyone has mobile devices and tablets. Um, so having 4K content is just a start. What you do with it is still a major, of major importance to, to, to operators today. Revenue models for 4K content. We've talked about the security to, get, to make sure that operators can get 4K Ultra HD content. And we talk about premium box office early release content. But actually, we have to keep in mind that the revenue models that make an operator successful go far beyond that. They, they involve also maximizing the electronic sell-through options of that content in their network. So there's all sorts of things you can do there by forwarding content, uh, download and go, uh, physical media, uh, you know, being able to, to, to buy the content and keep it. So let's not forget electronic sell-through. And we, the models that are in the operator ecosystem today, like uh, live, uh, catch up, uh, VOD libraries of existing movies. Use case, match content offers to ultra HD TVs with different security levels. So uh, one of the interesting aspects of 4K is the way the televisions are shipping. So we know at the moment that, you know, 4K televisions are shipping rapidly, 60,000 a day is the last uh, statistic that I heard. Uh, a lot of these are shipping with uh, substandard 4K uh, implementations and especially the security level on HDMI, uh, the majority of these TVs are on HDCP 1.x. Movie Lab's uh, requirements for premium Ultra HD content in the early release window requires absolutely HDCP 2.2. And what this means is that consumers with those older televisions are not going to be able to watch early release box office movies. However, the same operator might have premium sport quality, and he will absolutely require that the premium sport can go out on HDCP 1.x. And unless that operator has technology that can securely signal and allow the, the 1.x path to be enabled without compromising the HDCP 2.2 for box office, 
they will not have a business model. Use case for 4K content to other devices, possibly at a lower resolution. Operators in certain regions have installed base of analog television sets. They would certainly like the option to convert the resolution to a lower one and then forward this out of the analog ports. Home networking, we all know, is a very important aspect of, of operator ecosystem today. And an operator is certainly going to want to forward their 4K content beyond the, the, the set-top box in the home whether it be via uh, home gateway DRM bridging or OTT services, but the ability to supply that content to mobile devices and tablets, uh, either with a, a lower resolution, so the content, premium content gets converted to a lower res before being shipped out. If this can be done securely, it is certainly possible that the operators will be able to negotiate with studios for rights on content, and certainly for their own, their own content, they would like to be able to do that. Flexibility and security is key to maximizing the 4K opportunity. So to make the, the most of the 4K opportunity uh, today, an operator needs to, to make sure that they have the movie labs, you know, the highest level security for those premium 4K Ultra HD studio movies. But at the same time, it's vitally important that they, they have the flexibility and the security solution to manage the settings for content per event or service. Um, and also over the lifespan of that content to be able to get the most value out of that content at all points in the life cycle. Mm -hmm.